Hi, here's how the quick scale module works. It's a handful of keyboard shortcuts that let you quickly change the scale of things in a scene. So, for example, I can select this token and quickly scale it up or down. And it works for multiples, too. In addition to just being able to bump things up and down in scale, there's also the ability to add some randomness. Just tapping shift and the left square bracket here gives me a random assortment of sizes on these selected tokens. Shift and right square bracket will give me some random rotations. This party is going to encounter a giant crab here, but it's not big enough, so we'll make it a lot larger. And now it'll be a proper battle. But if I were to do this again and bring out another giant crab, it's of course using the original prototype setting for that actor. If I've made a change to a scale that I like, I can use another keyboard shortcut, the pipe key or shift backslash, to save the current scale back to the actor's prototype. So now when I drag more giant crabs out, they'll come in at that new size. The sizing controls will also work for other element types, like tiles. If I grab some bushes here, I can select all of these bushes at once, shrink them down a bit, maybe give them some randomness to their size and rotation. And now I've got some quick random shrubbery. It works on lights. When you're controlling a light by hovering over it with your mouse, the sizing controls work for those. Similarly for sounds. And templates. The lights, sounds, and templates will change in one foot increments as you go up and down with the square bracket keys. If you hold shift, they'll go in five foot increments. There are a couple of settings you can tweak. There's the range of values that the token randomization can pull from. And similarly for tiles and the maximum number of degrees to rotate when doing the random rotations. There's also a controls reference at the bottom of the core controls for all of the keys I've been using. Controlling tiles, lights, and sounds, and setting prototypes are reserved for GMs and assistants only, but players do have access to the simple sizing controls for their own templates that they place. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.